Hi, I'm Gail Sibley. I'm here to give you a pastel painting tip on how I tone Wallace paper with watercolor paint. And then I use that for my six by six pastel paintings. Okay, so I've got the Wallace paper here and I have some transparent watercolor here and some opaque. Here I'm gonna do two sheets. This is, these are cadmium paints. And you'll also need a brush that's not a valuable brush because there's sanded paper and it's going to wear down your brush. This is my grandfather's brush, which I don't use anymore because it is well shorn. So I have another brush that has come apart and I need to glue it together. But as you can see, it's also getting worn, but this will work just fine. So let's get painting. I'm just going to pour a bunch of water on here. It's the fastest way to get some water on. Spread it around. It's not a watercolor painting. I don't have to be careful. I just want to get color on here. So I'm going to start with the uh, cadmiums. So here we go. And like I say, it's not a watercolor painting, so I'm just going to get that color on. Remember that watercolor does dry lighter, so don't be afraid of getting that color. I like the sort of random areas of color when I come to use the paper, um, which is why I like to use more than one color. I just like the, you know, just what happens. And I like the, I just never know what I'm going to end up with. And I love that sort of random unpredictability. Okay, we'll let that dry and um, I'll do, go and do the other one and, and then we'll have a look at them. Okay, here they are. This is the transparent one. This is the cadmium one. I may go over them a little bit to make them a little bit brighter. Uh, when you come to do it, it's totally up to you, you whether you like it darker or lighter. I hope that helps and if you have any questions, please leave them below and if you would like more pastel tips, please subscribe to my channel and you'll get them right away. Thanks so much for watching.